Dimmi, this is Giuseppe Basile, I'm the analyst and trader, you can find at the blog FibonaccioStalking.com I also post early on Twitter using the AdFibStalker nickname uh, Good evening, uh, today is the um, is Wednesday, January 23rd, 2013 and it's 10pm Italian time I want to remind you that the Italian time zone is GMT plus one uh, With this video I wanted to do a, um, a review uh, for the US versus the Canadian dollar forex pair and um, I also want to show you uh, an interesting uh, trading plan for this pair. Uh, I believe you uh, will need to watch this pair carefully in the coming days because it could offer a very good opportunity short. Uh, but before we get there, I want to uh, review the weekly chart of this uh, pair uh, to show you that uh, the bears are currently in control here so in the last three years we have a number of measure move lower and um, the first one uh, was actually not from the highs but it was from a lower level here not from the highs in uh, um, in the at the beginning of uh, 2009, but we had the measure move from these um, these highs in uh, at the beginning of April 2009. As we can see, price went down and hit target in 1031. The setup was at 117.30 here. The next measure move uh, also worked uh, very well and we can see that uh, the price of the uh, US dollar versus the Canadian dollar found uh, resistance in 108.20 uh, area and it hit first target in uh, 0.95 and um, the same anchor uh, here at the um, one uh, at the 117.15 uh, uh, here is being used uh, in the last uh, measure move lower on the weekly chart as we can see and in fact by tracing from the level to lows uh, we can see that uh, the price of the uh, US dollar as the Canadian dollar found resistance in 105.70 uh, and this um, uh, short setup as a target below in the 073 area which is not showed here and um, in the last few uh, months uh, from the uh, mid of 2012 we had this measure move lower here which is opposing a resistance in one uh, 040 area and that's the area of resistance that we have to um, we have to watch carefully uh, I'm going I'm going to switch to the daily chart now and I'm going to uh, I'm going to trace again this measure move lower this setup short we had uh, at the end of 2012 as we can see here price reacted to this level 1004 area the same level I traced on the weekly chart and um, once price uh, came to this level uh, we saw selling here but the um, the shorts uh, found opposing uh, long setups in the in the um, one um, sorry in the 0.9840 area which uh, which um, in which we saw participation of longs once in the mid of December and then again uh, mid of January this year. We had this um, big move higher here and I believe the 1004 area is going to provide uh, resistance again here. So um, there is an opportunity here to trade, uh, uh, to time a short and uh, I want to show you what we are trading at the moment. At the moment uh, we are trading on the daily chart we are trading this extension higher and uh, this extension higher found support in the 99.20 area and as we can see the 99 area um, of um, level of um, of um, 
um, of uh, of um, failure was respected here and price came up uh, and it uh, hit first target in 0.9960 yard and second target right today after that uh, central bank of canada um, announcement in 0.99 80 area so uh, what can we expect here is a new um, extension uh, higher so i do not expect a, a reversal here uh, this uh, pair is showing strength and uh, it's possible that it is going to trade a new long in the uh, 099 80 area here with a stop below 099.60. Um, as you can see, if uh, price gets to this level and keeps trading uh, upwards, we have uh, again two other targets 1017, and um, the next level will, will be right in that 1040 level. So the second target lines up. Um, lines up with that level of resistance so that's why the dynamics the price dynamics and the price structure at the moment in the uh, USD uh, CAD is so uh, interesting to me so um, should price come to uh, 0.9974 there is a very good long trade here with a stop before 99.60 and uh, should price keep moving higher I would take the trade out at 1.0030 10020 and then we can actually we can actually sorry apologize for, for the interruption so as i was saying there is a there is a long uh, setup here in 09980 with a stop below 09960 um, if we get to 10 uh, uh, 10040 there is an opportunity for a short here so let's move to the four hour chart here to show you a little bit uh, in more detail the opportunity and the actual setup um, let me move the scale just um, just a moment here and um, now uh, the 1040 level is the level of um, resistance as we said we have a, a long setup here which is the one that i showed you before and the next setup is going to be this one so uh, here is um, the way it works if price gets to um, to the 099.80 and then uh, into 1040 what we're going to do we're going to trace the highs from highs this is an extension and if price um, uh, if price move below these red lines if move uh, moves below the uh, 1010 i would say then the short from this level is valid and is confirmed and actually we can um, we can uh, move uh, we can move lower now the um, uh, going back to the daily if we look at this uh, level of uh, resistance here um, uh, which is the 1040 um, we can also um, see here that this has quite a large um, quite a large target and uh, to see the target I need to move the scale here once again and um, we need to watch uh, below and um, and that's where we uh, can actually get um, I need to move it a little bit um, lower here uh, please bear with me with this and um, price can actually move into um, well below uh, of course 096 you can move into the first target and the first target is in the uh, 0.9440 so we have here the opportunity of a trade originating at 1.0040 and confirming uh, below 1.0010 here and which can bring a uh, price into this um, 1.9440 so i hope this is uh, useful and i hope it's um, 
it's uh, it's clear uh, enough and I'm going to pause this video in my Forex page and um, I also post the um, uh, Fibstalk view on currencies every weekend in which I provide uh, uh, I provide updates on uh, on uh, several uh, forex pairs, including the US uh, uh, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. I wish you a very good evening. Thank you for your attention, and I look forward to seeing you on my blog. Bye bye.